everybody, so I am doing another art tutorial. Today I'm going to be doing a cat instead of a dog. So as you can probably see, I got a few new things. So I got a new eraser, new sketch pad, new pencils, just because they all look a little nicer. So let's get started. I'm just gonna flip to a random page because I have not used this notebook yet. So let's flip to a random page. Okay, now that I've secured my paper, I should probably secure this side. Okay, so first we're going to start with just your starter sketch pencil, which I'm using this one. It's a really thin one, so it's just easier for sketching. So of course we're gonna start with the circle. So you just start with your basic circle, like that. Again, doesn't have to be perfect. And we're gonna do the guidelines now. We're gonna make another one facing this way. And let's start with the guidelines. If you've watched my last video, then you know how to do some of the basic guidelines, some of the more basic ones. So I shouldn't need to explain it, but just in case you do a line from the top of the head to the bottom curving, I'm gonna do one like that, very close to the edge, just because I want them really looking this way. We're gonna actually do a girl this time, uh, just to show it a little bit of an example with female characters so again we're gonna do a darkened line here for the muzzle and so this time usually with a dog you would stop the muzzle like around here but for a cat you need to start like closer to here because or stop closer to there because it's a cat so you don't want too much of a big muzzle you want a round one too but not too round because cats jaws are really square like so you want it square-like, but with round curves. So I'm gonna do that. I might add more detail to it later, but for now it's just gonna be that. Now the floof, my favorite part. <laughs> We're gonna just do almost like a, a tiger almost, which this is what I do with, for my next video I'm gonna do a lemur. And I, I'm actually not gonna do that floof line, but that's what I do for a lemur most of the time. So I'm gonna just do similar to the wolf floof, but I need to darken this line so I know that's the cheek, that's the fluff. Okay, now we're going to just do the same thing on the other side, just the fluff. Okay, so now we're going to add more detail to the fluff. Just need to zoom in a bit so you can see better. Okay, first we're gonna do the nose, which is just gonna be a straight line like this. Unlike the dog, you're gonna do a straight line instead of a curved one. It's gonna be all straight lines instead of curved ones. So you could either do a fat nose like that, which is really good for like most cat characters. It's just a style. I'm gonna do actually, I'm gonna do the same top, but I'm gonna do a slim nose, a more slim nose. I just like it more in my opinion. So once you've got that done, you're gonna draw a line down from the tip, connect it over here, and we're gonna make this guy smiling, this girl smiling, cause why not? Our other character wasn't smiling, so we might as well. Okay, a little bit of a sneaky smile, and we're gonna do a line up here, curve, curve connect it. Okay, now that we've got that done, it actually looks more masculine than feminine just because of how big the head is and how um, thick the muzzle is, but maybe we'll still manage to make it look like a girl. <laughs> if not, we can just erase the eyelashes and make it a boy. <laughs> so for the eyes, you're gonna do a curve arc. So you can either do a big arc like that um, or just a smaller arc, I'm doing one here that connects to the cheek, and I'm almost gonna draw it out a bit. So that could really be the pupil. Uh, it just kind of arrived there. So I'm gonna make this one smaller, slightly smaller, just because I don't think it looks good that big. So just really slightly, as you can see, it's really slight, like this is what it used to be, this is what it is now. I'm gonna connect the top and bottom with a curve. Okay, 
now we're going to do the pupils. So this looks really good as a pupil. So I'm just going to do this. So it's a really light sketch right now, so you can't see much of it. But we're going to add it and make it more dark uh, as we go. So let's just make the other eye looking this way. It's similar to our dog one, because I'm pretty sure our dark dog one was looking this way too. The highlights and shading it in very lightly because we'll want to shade it in darker later. Uh, okay, so now we're gonna do the fluff and then we're gonna do eyelashes and then we're gonna do the ears. So first let's start with the fluff. I'm gonna start over here and I'm actually gonna get a slightly darker marker. Darker marker. Uh, so let's see, yeah, that's good. I'm gonna go like that and just add a lot of fluff and a lot of curves. And then I'm just gonna connect it to the head. So as you can see, very fluffy, very fluffy. <laughs> so we're gonna do it again. And I like doing this cause it's fun, but if you don't wanna do this, then again, it's just your style. I like following the guideline. So if it was like, like this or something with the fluff line, I would try to follow it best I could. Like that. Uh, but really, you can do anything. But let's erase that because it's in the way of the ear. Okay, so as you can see, we're leaving a lot of space here. Um, that's going to be the start of the ears and just some forehead fluff, really. So first we're going to, as we have this darker pencil, we're going to darken the lines of the muzzle. If you want to add any detail, just add detail, a bit of it. Okay, now we're going to erase this line. This eraser is a little hard to use. Like, It's more for like smaller details if you use this edge. I haven't used this edge yet. It might be better. It's just a little like flimsy, almost like that. So I might use my other eraser next video. Okay, so once we got that covered, we're going to do the tear duct with the cat eye. And we're going to just darken the lines over here and re go over the eyes. Now it looks a little better, as you can see. Just a little bit. We'll make it look better later. Okay. That looks a little better. Now we're going to add a bit of nostrils to the uh, nose. And you can color that in pink or you can color it in black. It really matters. Uh, it really depends on what color your cat is because with a black cat, uh, they usually have black noses. With a lot of different other cats, they have uh, pink noses. So I'm just going over some of the lines right now, darkening them, making them look a little better. Now we're going to add eyelashes, just a bit. That's how I do eyelashes, just a little addition to the eye and with this eyelash if it's long it can go past the fluff because that's what it would do and it looks good okay so now we're gonna I'm gonna draw this little line right here it's not a straight one it's slanted but that's fine and I'm gonna go like this just for the ear and then like that so that's the first ear I have some sort of scribble right here, so I'm going to erase it. And that's the first year. And we're going to make the other one tilted back. Try to make them the same height. I know I didn't do that good with that, but they're similar heights. Okay, so now I'm going to just add a little fluff like I do with this. Let me scoot it over so you guys can see more. And right here where the this fluff line ended, I'm gonna add that. That way it looks kind of like the fluff is in the ear too. 
and here we're gonna add a bit of fluff right here with cat ears I like adding more like um almost like because sometimes with wolf ears I almost do it like this fluff inside and with other animals I do this but um with cat ears I like doing this like really like sporadic fluff so I'm gonna erase this and I don't know if I was using the right word sporadic <laughs> okay so now um, before we do the neck we're just gonna make it look a little more feminine so what I do with uh, animals when I do the earrings I almost do I start with it inside here inside the ear and then I curve it out a little bit and then I connect it to this line but I don't make it go inside at all that way it looks like an ear piercing because I haven't really figured out how to do a normal earring and not just a loop because sometimes it looks weird like it's just dangling and it looks weird kind of so I do that and then I do a slightly smaller one just to make it look good and yeah that's how I do earrings <laughs> I don't do necklaces and bracelets and rings much because I don't do fully bo full body much. So if you guys want a full body tutorial, I will try my very best. Okay, so now we're gonna do the two lines for the neck. Gonna do curves, connect the two lines with other lines, and I'm gonna do a V-neck with this one. It's not that neat, but you can see what I'm doing. And then I'm going to do a bit of fluff, like I showed in the last tutorial. Uh, there's different ways of doing this, so I'm just doing some random areas with fluff, just so it looks a little natural. And with this one, let's do a little heart right there. And a little one right here. Well, that's good. Let me shade it in some just because. And just for fun, let's add a little bit of a music note over here. For those mu musicians that are watching, I might get be getting the notes wrong, but that's fine. <laughs> anyway, that's how I do a cat. And it's just really fun to draw these. So take your time, practice as much as you need to. And just tune in for the next video. Please like and subscribe. And see you guys next time.